Hello, I'm Caroline Dunn, and welcome to this stretch and strengthening session for your hips and your legs. So we're gonna start sitting down today. So come right on down and find a cross of the legs. Now, if this is not comfortable for you already, then you might like to prop up your hips. So if you have a block or a cushion, just raise those hips up and that might make this feel a little bit nicer. So we're gonna start with our three grounding breaths. So bring your hands onto your lap or onto your legs and just close the eyes. So next breath, take a long breath in through your nose. Open the mouth and sigh the breath out. And again, breathe in. Sigh it out. And breathe in. And sigh out. Now either keeping your eyes closed or blinking them open if you'd like. From here, we're going to experiment with a fold. Now this might already be enough of a hip opener for you, so there is no need to fold if actually this is enough. If you would like to explore this space, then you can start to creep your fingertips forwards. Maybe you start to bend the elbows, maybe you come all the way down. And wherever you are, if you've taken any sort of falls, you're just gonna tuck the chin in, either eyes closed or soft gaze downwards that you're not really focusing on anything. And as we stay here for a few breaths, just start to notice the sensations in your body. Both hip bones want to be rooted down to the ground, so not lifting away. And then we'll take one more breath here. And then very slowly, if you fold it, work your way back up. And we're just gonna switch the cross of the legs. So send your hands behind you to lean back, swap the cross of those legs over and come back in. So again, you may need to readjust for this side. We're quite often quite different on both sides. So try not to assume that this is gonna be the same. So take a breath in where you are, and then if it feels comfortable, start to find that fold forwards. Tuck the chin in. Root down through both hip bones. And starting to notice where you feel your breath the most here. So notice any sensation of air in the back of the throat, maybe into the heart or into the belly. That rise and fall movement as we breathe. One more breath here. And then as you next inhale, if you fold it, working your way back up. From here again, lean back to release the legs and draw the soles of the feet together this time. Now, if you're still on the block, you can be there still. We're gonna go for terrasana, so you probably want to shuffle your legs a little bit further out. A great way to measure it is to take your hands, place them together, and then you should find that your fingertips just tickle your heel bones. Then bring the hands onto the ankles, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, either stay or option to fold it forwards, winging out the elbows. Keep your heart lifted to begin with. And then when you've gone as far forwards as you can, then start to round down. And there's a lovely bit of symmetry here. It's like eventually maybe your head could meet your feet. And fit straight in there. So here, start to direct your inhale into your inner thighs. Maybe even your glutes, so you might feel that here too. And perhaps soften the shoulders a little bit more. Maybe they've hunched up as we folded, softening them down the back. And then as you next inhale, very slowly with the head coming up last, coming out of any fold that you tuck. From here, extend your left leg out long, and then take your right leg and cross it all the way over the top. 
From here, breathe in and lift your left arm up towards the sky. Maybe your gaze follows it as well. And then as you exhale, twist to your right. So your arm is now wrapping around the right knee. Take a breath in to lift and grow really tall. And then as you exhale, turn to gaze over your right shoulder. So you might feel this as a bit of a stretch into your right glutes. Again, keep both hip bones grounding down. And then as you inhale, look forwards. Exhale to release the twist and we'll take that to the other side. So stretch out your right leg. The left leg then crosses over the top. Breath in, reaches the right arm up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, twist round to your left, wrapping the arm around the leg. Breathe in to grow long and exhale to twist over your left shoulder. Keep squeezing the left knee into the chest here. Breathe into the left outer hip. And then as you inhale, look forwards. As you exhale, release the twist. And just give those legs a little shuffle, a shuffle and a shimmy. And then from here, crossing all the way around. And coming to Malasana, so yogi squat. So you want to send your feet nice and wide, about mat distance, maybe a little bit wider, with your toes turned out. From here, your heels might be lifted, that's absolutely fine. And if you are also more comfortable, you can also sit on a block or two and be a little bit higher up in this. For wherever you are, take your elbows into the knees, breath in to lift your heart into your hands, and either closing the eyes or taking a soft gaze forwards. Breathing into the hips here. And then we're going to take 10 squat to stands, starting to build a little bit of heat here. So at the top of our mat, as you take your next breath in, reach up to the sky, grow tall. As you exhale, sit down back into the squat. Okay, so we're going to do that 10 more times. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, squat. That's two. We've got eight to go. Are you ready? Breathe in. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And this time, whew, as you breathe in, come all the way up to a stand. And then take the feet together, take the hands by your sides. From here, as you next breathe in, take your right leg, balancing on your left leg, and kick it out in front of you. So that right foot is going to stay nice and flexed. And then from here, I want you to think like we're going to sit back as though we're doing chair pose, or take a little heel tap. So as you inhale, send your bum backwards. Maybe the heel taps down as you exhale. Come back up. This is really hard. A little goes a long way. Breath in. Exhale. We're going to take five more breaths in. Exhale. Four. Three. Two. And one. Well done. And shake it off. Okay, second side. So you can send the weight into your right leg. Send your left uh, leg in front of you, flex that foot, so nice and active, switching on all those big left leg muscles up your left leg. Same thing, as you take your breath in, send your hips back and down behind you, maybe the heel taps down, exhale, drive back up. Breath in, sit back, exhale, come back up, we've got five more. Five. Four, send that one back. Three, nearly there, two, and one. Nice, and shake it out. 
Okay, going back into your left leg this time. Right leg is going to come to hover, so the right foot's now floating. Flex the right foot. So begin with either hands at heart center or draw them down by your sides. As you take your next breath in, start to hinge at the hips. Now, don't think about going down here. Think about creating length all the way through from the crown of your head through to the ball of your foot. And then as you exhale, drive back up. Inhale, hinge. Exhale, drive. Now nice and smooth and controlled with this one. We're going to do five more. Breath in. And out. In. Out. Three more. Two. Last one. Four. And again, shake that out. Left uh, glute and left hamstring may be talking to you right now. Okay, second side. Transfer the weight into the right foot. Hover your left leg off the ground. Flex the foot. Hands either to heart center or by the sides. Okay, and we hinge. Breath in. Left leg hinges back as you hinge forwards. Exhale, drive back up. Nice and smooth and controlled. Let's take five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Great work. And shake it out. Okay, let's flow it out now. Bring your hands to heart center. Breathe in, shoot the arms up to the sky. As you exhale, forward fold. Soften the knees, hinge at the hips. So from here, bend your knees even more so that your torso can drape all the way over your thighs. Now starting to, you might already feel this as a hamstring stretch into your hamstrings here, but just starting to shift that emphasis slightly. So press your right heel down. Your right leg is going to move straighter as your left heel lifts and bend your left knee. So as you send your hips to the sky here, hopefully you can feel that more into the back of your right leg. And then let's switch the side. So the left heel grounds, the left leg moves straight up. The right heel lifts and the right knee bends. Breathe into the back of the left leg here. And then coming back to center, so bending both knees nice and deeply so you've got that torso resting onto your thighs. Now catch hold of opposite elbows. Let your head hang loose, ragdoll. You might even like a little sway from side to side here. And then bending the knees enough to release the hands and place them on the ground and step it straight back to a high plank. And don't worry, we're not here for long. We're still on the hips and the legs. So from here, draw your right knee forward and place it on the ground behind your right wrist. You see that? And then as we set up for pigeon, you might just walk your left leg back from here. If you like to deepen that stretch at all, you can spin your right shin more parallel with the top edge of the mat. Then walk the left leg behind you. Flex your right foot to protect the right knee. And if you have a floating right hip like I do, then you might place a block or a blanket just underneath that. Now you can stay upright for your pigeon, or you might come on down to the elbows or maybe you even fold all the way to rest your forehead onto your hands. So you're gonna find a place that you can stay for about five breaths. Breathing into your right hip.
And we've got one more breath here. And then from wherever you are, if you've taken any sort of fold, work your way back up onto your hands and walk the left leg in a little bit. Okay, option for a tricky transition here. So you can also completely ignore this transition and move into this next phase however way you like. So you're gonna pick up your back knee. Your right uh, knee is still behind your right wrist. As you next exhale, we're gonna draw that right knee right up towards the tricep as we press the ground away. You ready? Take a breath in. As you exhale, lift the right knee. Good. And then your next exhale, step your right foot outside of your right hand. So your hands are into the center. Your right foot is wide. And you might take a little rock here. You might move side to side. And then you might stay here in a high lizard. You might start to walk your hands a little bit further forward, bend the elbows, maybe even bring in those blocks again and stay for a breath or two in whichever place you find for your lizard. And then from wherever you are, if you did take a fold, walk your way back onto the hands and then take a really big step back with your right foot all the way to the back of the mat. And we'll take that on the second side. So draw your left knee forward and place it behind your left wrist. So setting up a pigeon. Remember to deepen the stretch, then you might take your left shin more parallel with the top edge of the mat. Flex your left foot and then start to walk that right leg out behind you. This might be where you stay. Maybe you fold onto the elbows or maybe you fold all the way down, resting your forehead on your hands. Come into the breath, we're spending five breaths here. Two more. And then if you took any sort of fold, then work your way back onto your hands. Walk the right leg back in again and tuck the right toes. So remember we have that option for that tricky transition. Your left knee is behind your left wrist. On our next exhale, we're going to press that left knee up towards the left armpit, towards the left tricep. Ready? Take a breath in. As you exhale, press the ground away. And then from here, big step forward with your left foot to outside of your left hand. Did we make it? Well done. Now let's take a little bit of movement here as we explore lizard on the second side. And then from here, if you'd like to explore any sort of depth, then walking the hands forwards, bending the elbows, maybe bringing the blocks in for some extra height if you need that. And spending a couple of breaths here. And then if you took any sort of fold, then work your way back up onto the hands and then step all the way back to a high plank. From here, place the knees down or you shift all the way onto our backs. So move in whichever way suits your body. Make sure you have enough room to lie all the way back. And as you come onto your back, you're then going to draw your knees into your chest. Flex your feet. Send your knees nice and wide. And first option is to catch hold of the backs of the legs. This is half happy baby. You're thinking about keeping your whole spine grounded. So press the backs of your shoulders down and press your lower spine down. 
If this feels okay, then you might take the arms to the insides of your knees and catch hold of the outer edges of your feet. And again, same action. It's like you're trying to draw your knees into the sides of the ribs, press the shoulder blades down, press your lower back down. Take one final breath here. And then release the legs. Lay them out nice and long. Enjoy your hands by your sides, palms turned up. Close into the eyes and just let that movement integrate. Final relaxation. And stay here for as long as you like until your body gives you the signal that it's time to move about the rest of your day. Thank you so much for stretch and strengthening with me today.